So this is my opinion video on the Sony A9. If you'd like to see a more specific video about the features and specifications of the new Sony A9, please check those out in uh, the video that I, in in the video that I made specifically for that uh, that you should be able to find on my channel. And if you're interested in the Sony 100 to 400 f 4 point five to five point six GM OSS. I've also made a video about that that you can check out on my channel as well. So thank you very much for your time today and I really hope to uh, provide value with my opinions and my insights into this fantastic looking new camera from Sony. So the A9 has 24.2 megapixels, shoots 20 frames per second, has ISO expandability up to 204,800. Um, it's five axis, five stop IBIS, um, has a great viewfinder, has touch and tilt screen, um, has separate drive and focus mode dials, it has two SD card slots, has a, has a bigger, more capacitous battery, um, the AF refresh rate is incredibly fast, the tracking is incredibly good, um, the sensor is, is superb and it can transmit data from the, from the imaging sensor to the processor at 20 times uh, previous speeds. Um, it has 30% better IAF and enhanced face detect compared to previous models. Um, it's, it's AF works at minus 3 EV. Um, and this is, just, this is just a fantastic camera. So kind of with those, with those features in mind, this camera is geared at professional sports, wildlife, photojournal, photojournalism photographers. This camera is geared towards photographers that are using uh, Sony glass and more particularly G Master glass. This camera is, is oriented towards very high-end users who demand a lot from their cameras and want smaller packages and want the best technology in their, in their bags. So this camera Sony, Sony images in general, I find from, from shooting on my 6300 and, and seeing other Sony images, like other RAW files and so forth, you can manipulate a Sony image much more to look like another manufacturer's you know, image, be it, be it stills or video, than any other manufacturer that I've worked with, um, any other manufacturer's images that I've worked with. Um, so you can you can in post production you can turn the in post production you can turn this image into that that the A9 is creating into just about anything it's full frame it shoots 4K from uh, from a 6K readout without pixel binning this i mean it gives every possible feature of of flexibility and functionality that it seems like so many people are looking for it's giving professionals serious motivation to change over to Sony. It's giving serious professionals all the tools that they would need for both stills and video. It's giving advanced amateurs everything they could possibly need for, you know, uh, cap for birding, for example, or uh, catching really fast action at their, at their children's games or recording their concerts. It's giving everybody that would be interested in this camera just about everything that they could want it would seem and so i think this this camera as a new flagship for sony is is excellent and i think it's even more excellent as a flagship because it's not hideously expensive at forty five hundred dollars it's not that much more expensive than a 5d mark IV. it's not that much more expensive than you know not quite pro and Nikon's. It's it's twice the cost of um, twice and change the cost of um, something like the GH5, but it's full frame, and it's you know for some people like myself that's going to make a big difference. For others, it's not. Um, the sensor is twice as big. It captures both 4K and stills at twice the twice the um, twice the sensor size, so you get way more light in with Sony's noise reduction software and, and what they in, are able to integrate into 
the um, into the sensor just straight straight off the bat like this is going to be excellent image quality at extended ISO ranges I can't be more enthusiastic about this camera and at the price point of $4,500 like I'm, I'm blown away and Sony is great at that Sony is great at blowing you away with their products and I remember when the Sony a7 a7r and a7s came out people were flabbergasted they were floored at that quality and that level of technology that you could put into a camera body and charge that little for and that's what the Sony a9 is and the Sony a9 is is an incredibly disruptive technology in in the camera market because it's giving professionals prosumers and advanced amateurs so many features so much flexibility that just doesn't exist with other manufacturers and and it's doing so much better with all of those than so many of the other manufacturers can do. I mean, the 4K isn't 60 or 120 frames per second, but it's giving you 4K and um, at you know usable with usable codecs. It's giving you two card slots. It's giving you 20 frames per second stills at 14-bit uncompressed RAW for those files, like. What Sony is doing is telling other manufacturers to sit up and take notice because they will have to start making cameras and imaging software and imaging hardware that can keep up with Sony even more so than in the past because now Sony's going after their big primary user bases, which are these, you know, these big professionals toting these big white lenses around at big events and so forth. And and I think Sony's going to win out because Sony is giving better features, better functionality, better flexibility at lower price points and they're doing it years ahead of when manufacturers like Canon, Nikon, Pentax, um, Fujifilm, Olympus, and Panasonic are even considering these as being possible or even thinking about stepping their toes into that water. Um, and so I'm just really excited about how the market will react to the Sony A9 and I'm also really excited to see if I can't get my hands on one to, to, to like as a rental or something to, to test out and review for a little bit because it's a truly remarkable camera. And, and I think all of us camera users will be better off for this camera existing because it will, it, the technology in it will filter down through Sony and will cause other first party manufacturers to sit up and take notice and make better cameras themselves. And so all of us will have access to better imaging hardware and software going forward because of this camera, in my opinion. So um, that's kind of that's kind of my rant on it. So thank you very much for your time and for your attention. Please check out the links in the description. If you'd like to see what kit I have and use on a regular basis, that's also in the description. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for your time and for your attention. And I'll see you in the next one. I'm